I want to teach you that skilled readers of fiction um, may pay close attention to the details of the story and think about those details to grow their ideas and make new ideas. So we had this chart started yesterday um, that was how to write You guys have do you guys remember any of the ways we worked to grow our ideas? Or should we go back over? Yeah. Uh, picked out ideas that we thought of when we were reading. Yeah. So and like while you're reading you pick out those thoughts, you're kind of wondering why that's happening or asking questions about the story, right? Mm -hmm. To grow those ideas. So yeah, we use use thoughts as prompts sometimes. Another that we use is they ask questions. Another way is paying close attention to the characters. So we're going to look back at our book, Fox, and read closely to grow some of our ideas about dog and magpie's traits. Oh. So later in the book, we get to when magpie has been off with Fox, and So, this part, finally found. So days, perhaps a week later, she wakes with a rush of grief. Dog is waiting, and he persuades her to go with him to the river bank. Hop on my back, he says. Look into the water, and tell me what you see. Sighing, Magpie does as he asks. Reflected in the water are the clouds in the sky and trees, and something else. I see a strange new creature, she says. That is us, says Dog. Now hold on tight. So are you notice anything, noticing anything new about Dog or Magpie now that we're revisiting it and going back? Are there um, some questions you'd have or thoughts you have that could help grow some ideas? Yeah. Um, would you would you like me to kind of give you an example first? So I noticed that when Magpie is waking up, like a day or a week later, she like dog is waiting for her. So it doesn't sound all that 
important at the time in the book, but it's something that really shows how much Dog cares that he's still waiting for her after days or almost a week. So that's something that I had an idea about Dog and got it to grow. So, so would you guys like some time then to look through the book on your own to find out some more about Dog? And you can maybe write write down one of the ideas you've grown in your notebook. So we're supposed to find stuff about dog or magpie. Yeah, just some just some new ideas that you might not have had the first time we read it, or grow the ideas that you might have had the first time you read it. Maybe. Dog is too trusted. Okay, I have one. You have one? Would would okay. it be okay if I shared it on the sure. projector? Sure. Okay. It's kind of an idea about dog. All right. So, your idea is that dog may be too trusting because Fox took Magpie away. Can I read the part where I... Yeah. Would you like to yeah. share what helped you grow that idea? Yes. So what helped me grow that idea was that Magpie is trying to warn Dog about Fox, saying he's not like good, and he says he does he belongs nowhere, and so but Dog says he's all right and to let him be. So maybe he's just too trusting, and because Fox wants to take Magpie away from him, okay. and that's what grew that thought that he just might be too trusting and want people around. Okay, yeah, I like that idea. That's a really good idea, and I like the way that you grew that idea. Thanks. Do you, do you have any ideas that you would like to share? Um, about Magpie's character. Okay. Or Just about how she feels. Yeah, either way. She's sad about having to leave Dog when Fox takes her away. Yeah, well, like, I guess... What, ma what made you grow that idea? Um, because she says, I will never leave dog. And then on the next page, she says it again before the fox takes her away. And she doesn't look very happy in this picture. So yeah. I'm assuming she said that fox took her away from dog. Yeah. So, this next part, we've got, we're going to go back to where we were talking about the book before. And so now in this scene, when they're actually walking over the river, Magpie says, I see a strange new creature, she says. That is us, now hold on tight. With Magpie clinging to his back, he races through the scrub, past the stringy barks, past the clumps of yellow box trees and into blueness. He runs so swiftly, it's almost as if he were flying. Magpie feels the wind streaming through her feathers, and she rejoices. Fly, dog, fly. I will be your missing eye, and you will be my wings. So, does this little passage tell us anything about Magpie? Because at first, Meg, Magpie seemed kind of sad, right? But mm -hmm. what does is, what is this part show us about Magpie? Um, that she, she relies on Dog to help her out. Yeah. And yeah, that she might be able to learn to trust Dog and learn to 
live life even though she can't fly just because just like he doesn't have an eye like he's blind in one eye and he still lives a good life so yeah. she can learn yeah because i kind of see that sh she seems pretty sad and upset and not too trusting mm -hmm. of dog at first but once she she does trust him and give him the opportunity it says that she rejoices and, he, and then even tells dog that I will be your missing eye and you will be my wings. So after that time of like allowing Magpie to gain that trust of Dog, or Dog gained Magpie's trust, now they're a good team and Magpie isn't nearly as sad as she was in the beginning. So, um, so I would like you guys to find a book that you have read before and find a, fam well, a familiar book that, yes, you've read before and look for an idea that you've had and maybe think of one way to grow that idea. This, this time, though, really try to focus on one of the characters in the book. I'm going to put our chart back up, too, so you guys have some ideas of strategy you can use. So, you can't focus on a character. Yeah, try to just grow an idea about that character. So these ideas are just something I want you guys to write and keep in your writer's notebooks so that we can revisit them. And so we'll remember from today that like literary essays, writers and readers both need to pay very close attention to the characters and some of their different traits and details and their motivations and goals because it really helps us gain a better understanding of the story. <laughs>